Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's WordPress video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest updates in Slider Revolution. This is 5.1.4. And we're going to take a look specifically how we can use Facebook posts and the images from those posts to create sliders that are dynamically generated from information you place on Facebook. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new slider. So we'll click on new slider. We'll wait for that to load up a second. And once we've done that, you can see the familiar screen that we normally see, which is where it allows us to choose the content source and apply our titles and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose Facebook stream. And you can see now that gives us a range of options that are specific to this particular type of content. First thing we're going to do is put in the number of slides maximum. So in this instance, I'm just going to say three. The cache, we we'll leave that as default. The Facebook page, we'll get that information in a moment. But one thing I want to draw your attention to is the app ID and the app secret. Now for this to work, you need to have set up an app using the Facebook developers panel. Now this is completely free and if you follow the link that says please register your website with app Facebook to get the values, just follow that, follow the information and you'll find it quick and easy. Once you've done that, you can take the information that is supplied to you for your app ID and the app secret, input those into the relevant boxes, input the Facebook page name and then you're going to be good to go. So I'm going to copy the information from my particular app and put that in there and then we'll show you how the options change based upon the information I placed in there. So I've simply clicked on that link, which brings me into the de Facebook developers page. Now I'm already logged in, so all of my information has already been set up. So I can just simply come through and choose, choose the, the, um, the API information that I need for this. So we'll just do that. I come to my apps, I'll choose my Reaper TV one, and that'll open the information up. Now you can see it shows the app ID, it'll show the API version, and then it'll show you the app secret, which at the moment is protected. So once you hit show, input your password, that will then show you the relevant information, which you can copy from this, paste it back into the Slider Revolution section. It's relevant, the app ID and the app secret. And like I say, finally, just put the Facebook page in. So I'm going to do that now. So once the information is placed in there, that will then temp quickly load in the information from your um, Facebook page. So it'll just check all the, the parameters you input are correct. Then allow you to choose the source and to select the album. So you can see if I choose album for the source, I can choose either album or timeline. And then from the select album, if I choose album, I can just choose all the actual albums I've got created. Now in this instance, I've only got a couple, but you know, depending upon your Facebook page that you link into, then obviously you, know, you may have different categories, different um, albums and things. So in this example, I'm just gonna choose cover photos. I'm gonna leave everything else set as it is on that section. Input my slider name. my alias and then all I'm going to do is come up to my navigation section make sure it enable arrows you can then go through and choose any particular arrow styles you want and send any other parameters you want in there I'm just going to leave it at that and then I'm just going to hit save and that's then going to save that out for me and then we can switch over to the slide editor okay once we're in the slide editor you're going to see that we've got a slide created for us which is currently blank and we need to now set just one or two other parameters to ensure that this pulls the information in correctly. If we scroll down, you can see we currently have a transparent area because we have transparent selected as default. What we want is stream image. So we'll just check that. That will just pull up a Facebook placeholder for us. We can come back up, choose source settings and ensure everything is, is correct in there. We can specify how we want the background to fit, etc., etc., et etc. Et Again, we can go through general settings and thumbnails and all these different kind of things you're normally used to. If you then want to create additional layers to put over the top and animate those, you can do all that kind of thing. But for now, we'll just leave it roughly as it is and we'll just hit save. And once we've done that, I can switch over to the front end of the site and take a look at a page that I've got this particular slider embedded in. Okay, so here's my page. And all I'm going to do is come into where I've got the Revolution slider referenced and just make sure that I've got the correct revolution slider in this instance it's Facebook 2 hit save changes update my page then I can switch over to the front end of the site and we can take a look at this in operation so now if you come over to the front end of the site you can see I've now got my slider and this is putting in images 
from the relevant category in Facebook. Now obviously these are a little bit too large, so if I wanted to, I can just simply come back into slider revolution and I can configure some settings. So if we go to slider settings, I can adjust the actual way that scales, the size of it, etc. So I can just simply come down and we can set the height of it and we'll say 450 and we'll set the width to now obviously this is dependent upon the kind of effect that you were trying to create and how your theme interprets any of these sliders. But you know, you can come in quickly and easily and just update this information to create the slider exactly as you want it with that information pulled from Facebook. So there we go. Hope you found this useful. It's a great technique if you want to link in your blog or your, your website into your Facebook page and you want to have a slider at the top of it that has information that's related to the two. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback, put those in the comments section below. And remember that we release videos for WordPress every Wednesday. So to be kept up to date, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.